Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Meredith and today I have my boxy Lux box to unbox with you and this will be for I think it's spring. I don't know what season this is. I think it is spring for 2023. Um, it's March now so that's why I'm a little bit hesitant because it's like not technically spring on the calendar. Anyway so this will likely be the last final BoxyCharm box. If you haven't watched my last video which will be the March 2023 unboxing of the base box. Um, I get these boxes in PR and they're no longer going to be having their PR program um, because of the announcement with Ipsy. So um, this will likely be the last one so hopefully it's a good one. We'll see what it is. So again, as I alluded to earlier, this was sent to me in PR, so my agreement with them is to post over my Instagram stories, so follow me over there at Eat, Stretch, Explore. So anyway, this is from Boxy, and I'm going to get started. Um, I will tell you that it's pretty, like, light. It sounds like there's a lot of stuff in here, but it's, like, pretty light compared to some previous months. Um, the box is, like, really big, though. It's, like, I don't know. I have very small feet, but I would say this is probably, like, a size 15 shoe. <laughs> Um, so anyway, let me just open this. This is the quarterly box because it is boxy luxe. So this is what it looks like here. I do think some of the Ipsy announcements may actually be more relevant to this box, so I'm going to try to read this little pamphlet here. It gives you some more information about it. Um, so they're going to have the same price, more perks, and it's going to be the Ipsy and BoxyCharm. So if you don't remember or you didn't know, Ipsy bought BoxyCharm like a year and a half, maybe two years ago, um, and they haven't really done anything until like the announcement from maybe like a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago. The battle of the world's most beloved beauty subscriptions is over. We're bringing the best of both brands to create the ultimate beauty membership. Um, so here's the um, QR code, so scan that with your phone. So the Boxy Lux will now be called the Icon Box. You'll get f eight full-size uber coveted products. Now with even more choice, you choose three. Haven't you always been able to choose three? <laughs> I don't know. This is PR, so I never get to choose anything, but I always thought you could choose three. Or was it only for Ipsy? Anyway, um, perks from a collection curated by an industry icon. So it's going to be somewhat similar to what I've seen people unbox for the Ipsy X. Is that what it's called? Um, so you don't have to do anything. Your next icon box will automatically come this May instead of June, and you'll get billed a month early. Oh boy, <laughs> super fun. Um, the quarterly upgrade will now replace your base subscription in February, May, August, and November. November. So I'm going to just hold this up to you. If you are a subscriber, you can definitely take a closer look. So pause the video to read all this info. I'm sure they'll put the card in your box as well. Um, so this is again the Spring Lux 2023 box. And if you're interested, I got 2303409 as my variation. So I'm going to just start with the very first item. So underneath the bubble wrap, it's like a jumbled mess in there. So I'm kind of worried that some of these products might be a little bit uh, smooshed. So let's just take a look in here. Uh, so the first one here, I think I've heard really good things about this brand. It's from Pat McGrath Labs. It's the Celestial Nirvana Eyeshadow Palette. This limited edition curated quintet of infinitely versatile hues features three finishes. Sculpt and smolder in a sublime silk matte. Illuminate like an icon in a shimmering foil. Sparkle without caution as mesmerizing metallics. Th this provocative palette delivers opulent opacity in a single stroke while building luxuriously blended multi-dimensional color. And this has a third $36 value. So I also thought Pat, Pat McGrath is more expensive. This is the Bronze Bliss eyeshadow palette. It's made in Italy and it doesn't say made for boxy so I think this one may be one like I don't know. I have some opinions about how the, some of these products lead in here. Um, so this is the info for you. There is like a lot of ingredients so definitely take a closer look if you have sensitive eyes. Um, but this is what it looks like here and it has a small mirror and I will go from left to right, nude moon, la vie en noir, lunar nut luxury, bronzed mink, and bronze illusion. Um, so this is what they look like. Uh, so this is kind of an interesting palette. I might keep it though because I haven't had uh, some of these shades before. Um, I'm just kind of worried about the black one. So if you have this palette and you've used the black one before, let me know if it stains your eyelids because I'm a little bit worried. I had a this mishap with a purple one <laughs> a couple of days ago. Um, so anyway, this one is, um, again, a $36 value. The next item is from Iconic London, and this is the Multi-Use Lip and Cheek Palette. Create a fresh-faced, pretty flush and a pop of pout-enhancing color. 
featuring six multi-use dewy cream shades this easy to use palette provides an instant pick-me-up to the complexion this has a $55 value so um, I'm not a huge fan of cream products just because I find them a little bit harder for me to use because I'm a novice um, so I might not keep this one um, but this one is made in China if you're interested for a dreamy veil of blush use your fingers beauty sponge or preferred blush and apply to the apples of your cheeks blending up towards your temples and lightly across the bridge of your nose for effortless irresistible lip look apply and blend using your fingers or preferred brush Use each shade alone or mix and match to create your preferred, perfect custom color. Um, so I thought that was going to be a little bit more uh, useful. Um, so I would say something's interesting here. So you know how there's like flaps in the box? This one was pushed in, so I don't know if that means that it was like came like that from a factory or somebody opened it and put it back in. Uh, anyway, this is what it looks like. And there is a huge mirror. And this is what the palette looks like. So there are quite a few um, different shades in here it does have that plastic covering i'm not going to take it off because i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it so i kind of want to make sure no dust gets on it um but it seems like a pretty good palette especially if you are like a makeup artist obviously i don't know if this is like the best brand or anything but i would say like it has a pretty good shade range in here um again i just don't know if i'm going to use a blush palette especially that many cheek cream blushes because i have quite a few cream blushes right now the next product is from kate somerville and this is the kate somerville hydra kate recharging serum with high Hyaluronic acid. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I just opened like one of my final like options for hydrating serums. Um, so I kind of need this right away. Um, this is inspired by Kate's LA Clinic micro channeling treatment and ideal for anyone looking for a revived plump skin after a big week or a late night out. It contains aquaport technology that mimics micro channeling to unlock water pathways that deliver faster, deeper, lasting hydration. This has a $78 value. I kind of knew it was going to be high because Kate Somerville is always kind of pricey. Um, AM and PM use apply two to three pumps to clean and dry skin allow, allow product to fully absorb before applying additional products this is made in the US if you're interested it also says it's reveal supple recharge and radiant skin with this blue light activated oh that's weird so I have to sit in front of my computer screen? I don't know, that's weird um, so it's a dual weight hyaluronic acid and Nobel Prize inspired Sorry, it's funny. Um, Aquaport technology de redefine the way your skin hydrates itself and delivers instant long-lasting hydration when and where your skin needs it most. Um, it instantly boosts skin radiance, fights signs of skin fatigue, visibly reduces dark spots for a more even tone. Um, so let's see, it's PETA approved, good for 12 months after opening. Um, you will not be able to read this, but I'm going to hold it up for you. Um, and let's see, let's open this one up. This looks different than I thought it was going to, so it's kind of like a plastic, a matte plastic look, and it has like a pump. Um, I'm not going to open this just because I did just open another one, otherwise if I wouldn't have opened it this morning, I would have definitely opened this one. So I'm quite excited by that product. I'm going to move on to the next one. The next one's also from a pricey brand, and this one is from Drunk Elephant. It is the TLC Happy Scalp Scrub, a supercharged AHA BHA acid blend. That's a little bit redundant. The A and BHA is acid. Um, blend that breaks down and dissolves dead skin cells and styling product buildup while biodegradable gentle exfoliating beads sweep them away. This is a $36 value, so it's actually not that expensive. I also had Drunk Elephant was really pricey. Um, it's a new brand to boxy. I'm actually kind of excited for this. I was just thinking that I need to buy a new scalp scrub. Um, I was going to honestly buy the Nature Lab Tokyo one because it's very very cost effective and it works really well it smells good <laughs> so anyway I have this one now to try out and this one says that it's 10% AHA BHA blend plant oils pH 3.7 and six fluid ounces in here I don't know is this always in here I don't think that all my drunk elephant products have ever said and Chris McMillan so it must be a collaboration I guess of some kind Wow, this, the perfect here is really small. My eyes are really bad. Um, it says, using a blend of six antioxidant and fatty acid rich plant oils, including marula, mongogo, mongogo, mongongo baobab and maracuja and a quick absorbing multi-amino acid blend TLC happy scrub um, keeps the scalp nourished, flake free and balanced. So before showering, when hair is dry, apply directly to a dry scalp and massage. Allow to sit 10 minutes or more. <laughs> I shower in the morning and that's like a lot of time. Um, so rinse early and follow with cocoa amino shampoo and conditioner. Use one to two times per week. May also be used on body. Interesting. Um, so I'll definitely give this a go. I'm kind of excited for it just because, again, I was 
going to buy a scalp scrub. <laughs> the next one is also a pricey brand, so let me find that one. It says Fenty Beauty, but this is actually Fenty Skin. So this is the Hydra Reset Intensive Recovery Glycerin Hand Mask. Oh, I need this so bad. So this one says this mask deeply hydrates and revitalizes hands overnight with 40% moisture locking glycerin, fruit oils, and plant extracts for cloud soft hands. This has a $22 value, which is kind of pricey for what's like basically a hand cream. Um, but this one is um, 75 mLs or 2.5 fluid ounces. Um, it says use once a day before bed for external use only. Okay um let's see this one is made in the u.s um so the reason why i need this is i just got back from a cruise and i don't know why but the soap or something in the in the cruise which just like ruined my hands they're like so dry i thought it would be fine because i went to the caribbean it was really humid so i thought my skin was gonna be real good when it came back it was not um so anyway i definitely need this product i've been like slathering hand cream on my hands like i have hand cream in every single desk drawer every single room multiple places so very excited for this Actually, let me see if it has a seal. Oh, it's kind of interesting. It also has a nice scent. It's definitely perfumey, so if you don't like perfumey scents, I don't think this would be for you. Um, I think it does have a seal on it, but this is like an interesting lid. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this off camera because it's taking a while to try to figure it out. Um, but I'm excited for this. Um, but a little bit less excited now that I smelled it. It smells very perfumey, like kind of like old lady perfumey, which is fine. I'm an old lady at heart, but I also like don't like the old lady perfumey floral smell. Um, anyway, I'm going to move on to the next one. And this one is from the brand and I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'm going to find it and I'll show it to you and you can tell me how to pronounce it. Uh, the box is open on the bottom. Um, so this one is from LYS Beauty, Liz Beauty, something like that. It's the Complexion Brush Duo. Oh, okay, so it's okay that it's open. Well, it's a little bit sad that it's open because that's the brush side. Effortlessly buff liquid cream and powder products into the skin with these densely packed brushes that seamlessly distribute product for an undetectable finish created with soft synthetic hair. These brushes maximize coverage while minimizing the amount of product needed for a finished result you will love. And this has a $30 value, which is a pretty good value I think some of the brushes that we've gotten in the past have been pretty high um, price point which seems like unattainable for somebody like me um, but yeah let me tell you what else is in here also that wasn't that's not how it was supposed to open you're supposed to open it with the tabs up front the foundation brush it says apply foundation directly onto the face using the brush gently buff using circular motions until you reach a desired look and then the sculpt and bronzing blush using a sweeping motion buff product into the hollows of the cheek temples and jawline to contour the face um, so that's exciting. It's vegan, it has a leaping bunny, it's gluten-free, and these are made in China, if you're interested. So let me open them. They honestly look exactly the same to me. <laughs> so hopefully when I get this netting off, it'll be a little bit more apparent. Okay, so they are different. I don't know if you can see it on camera, they're slightly different. Um, they're very soft though. They are very densely packed as it said. So this one here is the Sculpt and Bronzer brush. This one is a little bit more domed at the top. And then this one is the foundation brush and this one's a little bit flatter and a little bit shorter in terms of the bristle length. So I'm very excited for these. They're actually quite weighted too. So the handle part here is lighter for obvious reasons. And then the brush part is a little bit heavier. So these feel really nice. They're very soft matte feeling to them so I'm kind of excited to try these out so I'm going to wash them up and use them um, on the vlog which you probably won't see for like a year. The next product here is from KVD Beauty. It's the Tattoo Pencil Liner. Um, so I actually really like the Tattoo Liner, the liquid liner. I've never tried the pencil liner and I don't really get along with pencil liners well because my eyes are too watery. Um, so we'll see how this goes. It's an ultra smooth transfer resistant gel pencil liner that has the iconic waterproof all day wear of the best selling tattoo liner. This pencil liner sets fast to lock in place on your lids and in your waterline. It's high pigmented, versatile, and easy to use so you can line it, smudge it, or go gorgeous. Graphic. This is a $22 value, which is very pricey in my opinion. Um, it's a long wear gel liner and it's all day wear, intense pigment, ultra versatile. This is made in Korea. I didn't know they made their products in Korea, to be honest. And it's in the shade Trooper Black, which is number 10, which is like always the color that I got back at high school when I started wearing eyeliner from KVD. Maybe it wasn't even high school. I feel like that was a little bit early. I feel like it was maybe college. Why can't I open this? This box is like. I'm too dumb to figure out the box. I, oh, it must have been taped on the top. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, I couldn't find like a way to open it. So this is what it looks like here. I'm not going to swatch it because again, I don't really use gel liners or pencil liners. I can't even open this. 
okay this is what it looks like here so it is like that very intense black shade um so again i'm not gonna open it because i might not use it so i might kind of take a look at my collection and my needs and then maybe donate it um but this is kind of exciting if you are also a black eyeliner person because we tend to get a lot of liquid eyeliner which i'm happy about so i don't know people who are really into gel eyeliner if they're kind of disappointed by beauty boxes <laughs> okay the final product, so this will be the final product on this channel from BoxyCharm. This is from another brand I can't pronounce, but I have heard of it. This is from Oma Beauty, U-O-M-A Beauty. It's a Salute to the Sun Drama Bomb Mascara. This best seller is now dripping in gold. The unique hourglass shaped wand grabs and lifts each lash. I'm a little bit sad. Hourglass ones don't really work for me that well. Delivering extreme volume while the nourishing formula moisturizes and promotes lash growth. And this is a $19.50 value. That's actually pretty reasonable. Um, I would also say that if you are in New York, the Nordstrom in Midtown, like the flagship one, has a huge, this brand, Oma Beauty kind of section. So you can definitely take, take a look and like check it out because they also run pretty good like promotions usually because it's a department store. Um, but this one is made in Italy if you're interested. And there's quite a few oils and such in here, so let me just hold it up. You're not going to be able to read it. Sorry. This one is in the shade Chem, which I'm guessing is black. And this is what it looks like here. So I'm actually excited for this because, again, I'm kind of running low on um, mascaras, so I kind of need a new one. So this one is kind of nice. So overall, this box was pretty good. There's only, like, maybe one and a half products that I will not be using. Um, so let me know below what you got in your box and what you chose in your box as well. And also let me know what you think about the Boxy and Ipsy sort of um, merger and what you think it's going to go. And also let me know if you're going to keep your subscription, etc. Um, I'm kind of happy with the way that this has turned out. I mean, it was just an experiment because, again, I was just doing it as a hobby and as long as they sent me PR, I was going to be grateful for it just so that I could review the boxes on my channel as part of my hobby and give you my full and honest opinion because sometimes I felt like the like the PR boxes and like the um, kind of like the sponsored videos, they were very like positive and I feel like a lot of people didn't give their full honest opinions about it so I kind of thought I was kind of different um but anyway yeah this was a pretty good box in my opinion had i paid full price for the box i would have also been very happy with it um i would say that probably this box is a little bit abnormal um compared to what some of the other boxes have been just in terms of i don't think we had any like super duper high value items i think the highest value item was that kate somerville serum but in the past we've gotten some items in here that have been like 140 dollars value you know um so i thought this was a pretty reasonably like middle of the range i know that's kind of high um, value but middle of the range sort of value so that if I actually wanted to build this box myself um, it would be a few months worth of work but I would be able to do it um, but yeah anyway thank you again for watching and definitely consider subscribing if you want to see some other videos I will be working on my travel videos and also my vlogs um, so if you're interested in seeing some more of my travel stuff um, I will be working on that I do think that those are a little bit more fun for me to edit at least um, so I'm going to try to give you a little bit more of a voiceover for some of them as well to give you some information because it took me a while to like get into like the hang of like talking sometimes in my videos when I'm out in public because I feel like kind of awkward shouting into a phone by myself so some of them definitely do require me to have a little bit of color added in the editing process so I'm trying to work through that as well but thank you again for watching definitely consider subscribing liking this video etc and also follow me over on Instagram at eat stretch explore I am posting a lot more frequently over there um it's just some stuff from my travels and from my daily life so thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.